Your attitude determines your altitude. Successful people don't just drift off to the top. Getting there requires focused action, personal discipline and lots of energy every day to make things happen, says American author and entrepreneur Jack Canfield. And he couldn't be more accurate. So, don't let old habits hold you back. Start building these simple yet essential habits for a happier and more productive life. Before we go into the habits, let me show you some traits and behaviors of millionaire. Millionaire behaviors as follows. Education is important, with 84% of millionaires having a college degree according to Spectrum. From another Spectrum study, on a 100-point scale. Millionaires rated the importance of having a regular saving program at 82, reflecting their strong belief of its importance to their wealth. One in three funded their own college education without debt. Fidelity's Millionaire Outlook survey showed 86% of millionaires said they made their own wealth, they didn't inherit it. On average, it takes a millionaire 32 years to hit the $1 million mark, dispelling the notion that most get rich quick from a windfall. In fact, the same study showed that 80% of current millionaires didn't reach $1 million until at least 50 years old. Research conducted by Thomas Corley of Rich Habits, showed that 86% of wealthy people who work full-time put in 50 hours or more each week at their career. Further, 67% of wealthy people watch less than one hour of television daily, and 63% spend less than one hour daily surfing the internet. Next, desire matters as Corley found that 53% of self-made millionaires were obsessed with become rich before they were rich. Also, Corley's research showed that millionaires often pursue multiple streams of income, with 65% having at least three streams, thereby diversifying their dependence on any one stream. Finally, 88% of self-made millionaires read at least 30 minutes every day, focused on self-education. Millionaires also take good care of their health, with 76% exercising four days a week. So follow me to the end to tell you what you can do to have good habits. Number 1. Create a morning ritual. Maybe you like to go for a run. Or, maybe you like to meditate or enjoy a healthy breakfast. Whatever it is that makes you feel supercharged, kickstart your day with that habit. Establishing a meaningful morning ritual helps you start your day on a positive, proactive note. Having a structured start to your day instead of rushing to make up for the lost time also helps eliminate stress, mental fatigue and enhances your productivity. Number 2. Follow the 80-20 rule. The Pareto's principle or the 80-20 rule means that in any situation, 20% of the tasks yield 80% of the results. So you can maximize productivity by investing most of your time and energy on those specific tasks that will create the biggest impact. Once you've finished those tasks, you can focus on other activities that are on your to-do list. Number 3. Read, read, read. Reading books is a great way to gain knowledge and stimulate creativity. Immersion reading also improves focus and has a calming effect similar to meditation. Moreover, reading before bedtime can help you sleep better. Nonfiction books, in particular, are an excellent tool to broaden horizon, develop new ideas and seek motivation. Additionally, they also offer actionable advice on how to overcome all kinds of challenging situations through real-life examples. Number 3. Learn to single task. Only 2% people in the world can multitask successfully. While there's no harm in occasional multitasking, constant juggling between tasks limits your focus and contributes to mental clutter by making it difficult for your brain to filter out irrelevant information. Moreover, according to a study conducted by Stanford University, heavy multitasking lowers efficiency and may impair your cognitive control. This is why you should try to single task as much as possible. Make a list of things you need to accomplish in a day. Start with what's most important and make your way down the list, completing one task at a time. Before going on, if you feel that I have given you some value, please help me by smashing the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Number 4. Appreciate more. French novelist John Baptiste Alphonse Carr once said, We can complain because rose bushes have thorns, or rejoice because thorns have roses. It's easy to get caught up in the rat race and forget how fortunate you are. Practicing gratitude is a great way to create positivity, reduce stress and improve your physical health. How can you cultivate this healthy habit? Start a gratitude journal, volunteer, Take time to appreciate your loved ones and remind yourself of at least one thing you're grateful for every day before going to bed. The more you appreciate the little joys of life, the happier you'll be. Surround yourself with positive people. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, said American author and entrepreneur Jim Rohn. This is precisely why you should carefully consider who you're spending time with. Let go of relationships that bring you down instead of lifting you up. 
and spend time with people who know how to nurture and share happiness. Since happiness is contagious, it's one of the easiest ways to create positivity in your life. Number 5. Make time for exercise. Other than improving your physical health, working out regularly pumps up creativity and enhances your cognitive skills. It's also an effective way to build endurance and get energized. And if you're still not convinced, exercising also elevates mood by boosting the production of endorphins. It's a hormones that act as natural antidepressants. Still need more reasons to hit the gym. Number 6. Master the art of listening. Effective communication is crucial when it comes to cultivating personal and professional relationships. And listening is central to communication. Pay attention to what others have to say. It'll not only make others feel valued but will also help you understand them better and gain a fresh perspective. Don't try to monopolize the conversation or fake attention while your mind is busy figuring out what pizza you should order for dinner. Listen to what they have to say and what they really mean and take note of the nonverbal cues as well. The more you listen the more you'll learn. Here's a handy guide that can help you become a good listener. Number 7. Go for a social media detox. The digital world has taken over almost every aspect of our lives. The average person has five social media accounts and spends at least one hour and 40 minutes every day on checking social media. Research shows that the more time you spend on a social media site, the more likely you are to develop depression. Take time to cut back on social media to reduce stress and mental clutter. Switch off your phone and laptop for a few hours every day to improve your mood and reconnect with the world around you. Number 8. Invest in self-care. Taking some time off to unwind can do wonders for your mood mental health, and self-esteem. Do at least one thing every day that makes you feel good. Listen to music, learn a new skill, take a long bubble bath, or prepare a nice meal. Whatever floats your boat. Number 9. Create a dream board. When we were children, we would daydream all the time. We were skilled at dreaming and visualizing what we would be when we grew up. We believed that anything was possible. As we grew into adults, we lost our ability to dream. Our dreams became hidden once we started to feel like achieving our dreams was impossible. A dream board is a great way for you to start believing in your own dreams again. Seeing your dreams every day on a dream board brings them life. It will also act as a daily reminder to refocus your energy and direct it toward what you really want to achieve. Number 10. Set goals. Once you know what is important in your life and what your dream life looks like in the long run, you need to take action and set your long-term, medium, and short-term goals. Acting on these goals will enable you to achieve your dreams and change your life. Set goals when you want to change your life. Remember that your goals may change. Always be flexible with setting and achieving your goals as things in life change, and your goals need to reflect these changes. It's the small steps that you take that create the momentum when you're learning how to change your life. Number 10. Start living a well-balanced life. Our health does not remain the same. Our physical, emotional, and spiritual state changes as we get older. What we can control, however, is how we feed our minds and our bodies. Living a balanced and healthy life builds our resilience to the physical changes of our body. Exercise is the best way in which we can attain a positive and optimistic attitude toward life. Living a healthy, well-balanced life with lots of exercise is a lifestyle choice that will give you a happier and more fulfilled life. Exercise is an incredibly powerful tool that will improve your life and help you feel good. Not only exercising, but you need to eat right as well. This is often neglected by people out there. You need to eat healthy so you can stay healthy. Number 11. Try to be rejected more. Every day, reach out to one or two people who you'd like to work with, even if you are certain they would have no reason to respond. It could be a potential employer, an organization at which you'd like to speak, or even a book agent, or client you'd love to work with. You might not hear back at first, but eventually, you will get a response from someone. You have nothing to lose, but potentially a lot to gain. Number 12. Develop positive thinking. I put this first because I think it's the keystone habit that will help you form the other important habits. Sure, positive thinking by itself won't lead to success, but it certainly goes a long way to motivate you to do the other things required. I learned this when I quit smoking, when I allowed myself to think negative thoughts, I would end up failing. But when I learned how to squash negative thoughts and think positive ones instead, I succeeded. This discovery led to me practicing this over and over, until I was able to form just about any habit I needed. It's been invaluable to me, and I think it could be to most people. Focus on this habit first, and you'll have a much easier time with any of the others. Start by becoming more aware of your negative self-talk. Do a little tally sheet throughout the day, 
marking a tally each time you notice a negative thought. Soon you'll recognize them, and you can squash them. Developing these habits require determination, oodles of patience and constant effort. Maybe it'll take just a few weeks or maybe more than a year, it doesn't matter how long it takes to build the habit as long as you don't give up. Now pull up your socks, it's time to win at life. These are the 12 habits that will positively improve your life forever. Hope this video helps you out. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.